is found productive jobs. I think we should dedicate the next decade to high growth, to faster growth, and as the plan document says, more inclusive growth, but I think we also need to add job-creating growth. It must be high, faster, more inclusive, job-creating growth. And I cannot think of any other sector which has the potential to create the maximum number of jobs than the MSMC sector. The years that are spent in building an MSME are worthwhile years. You have the satisfaction that you have started something, built something, and built it into a strong institution. I'm very happy today that ET Now and India Mart are recognizing leaders in a number of sectors. If this year we'll record a growth rate of 9%, next year, believe me, will be better than 9%. And therefore, those who didn't make it to the awards this year have a much better chance of making it to the awards next year. Congratulations to all of you. Good wishes. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Chidambaram, uh, for those uh, words of encouragement. And uh, all of us, I'm sure, are heartened uh, by the statements and observations uh, made uh, by you. So may I ask you to now uh, take uh, your position in the middle of the stage as we begin the awards ceremony. And in fact, uh, let me now start off with the awards ceremony and start with the first category this evening. Ladies and gentlemen, our first category this evening is in the agri-business category. Let's uh, take a look at the nominees. of tomorrow agribusiness food processing category the nominees are tasty dairy specialities from Kanpur a company that manufactures dairy products and also firmly believes in saving energy basic India from New Delhi a manufacturer of high quality basmati rice that aspires to be the best gourmet food provider in India relish agri food India a company from Anand in Gujarat that supplies processed and frozen fruits and vegetables and the winner in this category, ladies and gentlemen, well, it's a company that, uh, whose name may not be familiar to many of us, but uh, there is a little bit of it in all our lives. Indeed, with milk as its mainstay, this is a company that supplies to Mother Dairy, ITC, Parley, Heinz. It gives me great pleasure, and indeed, let's all of us put our hands together for the winner. It's Mr. Atul Mehra, the CMD of Tasty Dairy Specialities. Mr. Mehra is a first-generation entrepreneur who began Tasty Dairy in Kanpur in 1992. Congratulations. And our next award, a Leader of Tomorrow, Apparel and Accessories category. Let's take a look at the nominees. Tomorrow, apparel and accessories category. The nominees are Welcome Shoes from New Delhi, a hundred crore enterprise that offers an exclusive range of footwear for men, women and children. Duke Fashions India, a 44-year-old apparel company from the land of entrepreneurship, Ludhiana in Punjab. Today, Duke Fashions is a hundred crore rupee company. And the award goes to Duke Fashions India and it's a company as you know over 100 crores in turnover and follows the motto whatever it takes and that's what's helped it ride the ups and downs of the apparel industry. Please welcome on stage Mr. Kuntal Rajan, Director at Duke's Fashion. Congratulations Mr. Jain.
Good job in South Bank. Now enters the capital market with a public issue of equity shares of rupees 10 each for cash at a price band of rupees 113 to rupees 120 through the book building process. Issue opens on December 13th, 2010. For QID bidders, issue closes on December 15th, 2010. For non-QID bidders, issue closes on December 16th, 2010. For risk factors and other details, please refer to the Red Heron Prospectus available on the website of SEBI and the BRLMs. A scene becomes a world. A sound becomes a sensation. A feeling becomes an experience. Oh my God! Get closer. Go deeper. It's going to be a wonderful show. For the first time in India, welcome to an all-new English movie channel experience in HD. Presenting Hollywood in HD with stunning pictures in 1080i and awesome 5.1 surround sound, only on Movies Now. I believe you are expecting me. Suppliers, more business. SMS more to 5677. The nominees in our next category this evening, in leader of tomorrow in the auto and auto components category, here are the nominees. Leader of Tomorrow, Auto and Auto Components Category. The nominees are Pelican Rubber Limited, a Hyderabad-based company that is a leading exporter of rubber tubes to over 40 countries. Indico Motors from Jamshedpur in Charkhan, a relatively new company established in 2004 that is making a mark in manufacturing of auto components. And the winner this evening is Pelican Rubbers, which drives away with the award. As a manufacturer of rubber tubes, Pelican Rubbers has made inroads not just in India, but in more than 40 countries around the world. Congratulations, Mr. Shiv Shankar Agarwal. Fourth awards for this evening is Leader of Tomorrow, Electrical and Electronics category. Let's take a look at the nominees. Tomorrow, Electrical and Electronics category. The nominees are KJV Alloy Conductors from Nagpur, a company that has been meeting the requirements of the transmission industry for over two decades now. Noida-based Kevin Power Solutions, established in 2004, the company is driven by a passion for innovation, research and development of power backup solutions. Some with the automations also from Noida is revolutionizing the security market in India by manufacturing indigenously designed security devices. And the winner is Samriddhi Automations. This is a company that's a leader in the market for advanced electronic security devices and it's managed to be picked by Sony to manufacture CCD devices for its cameras in India. Truly incredible performance there, Mr. Sanjeev Segal. Many congratulations. Please come up to take the award. Congratulations, Mr. Segal. Now let's move on to our fifth award of the evening, Leader of Tomorrow in the Engineering Products. And in this category, let's take a look at the nominees.
for leaders of tomorrow engineering products plant machinery category the nominees are Nissan Copper from Mumbai a company that caters to the copper needs of various industries like defense power and automobiles to name a few Dukon Technologies from Pune in Maharashtra a niche company that has been making air pollution control systems since 1938 Jeevan Diesel and Electricals a company from Bengaluru that offers turnkey power solutions to its clients and Polymer Industrial India a Hyderabad based company that manufactures high density polymers for various industries right and um, the winner in this category is Dukon Technologies Clean Air was the vision which gave birth to this company in 1938 since then it has spread its wings to many more areas and now boasts a fortune 500 uh, as companies as part of its clientele Mr Kiran Patel congratulations CEO of Dukon Technologies suppliers more business Five double six double seven.